Hello everyone and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Have you all wondered how people composite images to look like they seem to be in one scene? So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can blend the subject with your background. So before that, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to stay updated on all the new videos in the channel. So let's get started. So I have my image cut out and opened in the background. If you want to download this image, go ahead to the link in the description and download it from there. So let's start. I have cut out the subject to save us some time. If you want to know how to cut out the subject, make sure to leave a comment and I will make a video on how to cut out subjects from complex backgrounds. Drag and drop our background image into our scene. Now move our subject layer to the top. Now let's shrink our subject by pressing Ctrl plus T and shrink it down. You really need to shrink it because you are not going to make a mighty human. Ok, position it. Now if you notice that our subject is not matching with the background at all. What we need to do is, we need to match the three things of the subject with that of the background. And what are the th three things? The highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So for that, let's add a curves adjustment layer. Also add in a hue saturation adjustment layer. So for the curves adjustment layer, clip this to the subject layer. For the hue saturation adjustment layer, decrease the saturation all the way down to minus 100. Select the hand tool from the curves property box and drag on the midtones of the subject and adjust it. It's easier if you zoom down quite a bit and adjust it so that um, the, the midtones of the subject match with the midtones of the background. Similarly, do this for the highlights as well as the shadows. And once you are done, just turn off the hue saturation adjustment layer and take a look. And now if you notice, you will find that uh, the subject becomes a bit more saturated. And for this, we have added a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now just clip that layer to the main subject layer and just adjust the saturation. Move from minus 100 all the way until it matches with the background. Clear? Now if you have a look, it's quite matching. It is quite good according to me. To make the subject even blend with the background, make a copy of the background layer and move this layer to the top. With this layer selected, go to filter, select blur and then Gaussian blur. Increase the blur all the way to a point where only the colors are visible. In my case, I can go around 175. Change the blending mode from normal to color. Also, clip this layer to the subject layer. You can clip this layer by holding ALT and clicking the line in between the layers. Decrease the opacity all the way down to zero and gradually increase it when it matches with the background. I choose a value of 50 in my case. Now just go to the hue saturation adjustment layer and adjust the saturation. And we can have a look from where we started and where we are now. Now 
need to focus more on the subject we can add blur to the background so that our subject becomes more focused for that select the background layer go to filter go to blur gallery and select tilt shift so drag the point downwards and position it at the blur you can add two more points to the sides and adjust the blur of the sides as well this will give the depth feel to the portrait effect this will give a depth feel to our image Once you position everything, just click on OK. We can adjust this later if you want as we have done this on a smart object. Now, let's add in an overall effect to make the subject blend more with the background. So for that, I'm gonna add in a gradient map. So we can add in a gradient map. And for the gradients, I'm gonna select this and I have a list of photographic toning gradients. If you don't find this, you can just click the gear icon next to your presets and just select photographic toning and click on OK. Now play with this and find which one suits your Play with this and find which one suits your image the most. And now click on OK. Now change the blending mode from normal to soft light. And decrease the opacity all the way down to zero and gradually increase it so that our background and subjects looks like they are both from the same scene. That's why we added this overall filter. This will merge our both subject and the background to make like this one. If you are doing multiple compositings, composite all images, make all the corrections using the curves, skew saturation and whatever. And then finally add in an overall effect so that everything will look as if it's in the same background scene. Get it? And that's pretty much it. I'll just keep on adjusting my blur so that it will get a bit more depth effect. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching it. But by the way, if you have not subscribed to the channel, keep so hit the bell notification and subscribe to the channel for more awesome comments like these. And make sure to leave a comment on what you think about this video and like the video if you like it thank you